Good Monday morning and happy start to March. We are starting our morning with some clear skies after a round of some light snow with an Alberta Clipper moved through overnight. And now that the skies have really cleared, we can see that on satellite and radar that snow well off to the south and east and under these clear skies, temperatures have plummeted. Some of us are well below zero, including up in Langdon, 17 degrees below zero. That actual air temperature. It's eight below in Devil's Lake, Langdon, or excuse me, Devil's Lake, Grand Forks and Hallock, four degrees below in Bemidji, three above in Wadena and Wapaton, five in Gwinner and 13 above down in Aberdeen, South Dakota. As for travel today, not all of us received that snow overnight, but here in the metro we did and there are some slippery and icy spots. So allow yourself a little bit of extra time for your Monday morning commute. Now in your hour by hour planner, we are starting with cold temperatures and a breeze out of the north under those clear skies. As we head into lunchtime though, the wind is going to switch around out of the south and this is going to be a warming breeze and by lunchtime still going to be chilly with temperatures generally in the single digits and a few teens across the southern valley. But by the evening drive time home, we'll see a few more clouds work in, but that southerly breeze is going to do its job. We are looking at teens and 20s across portions of northwestern Minnesota and through the Central Valley. 30s through the James River Valley and the warming isn't going to stop there. Our temperature trend is going to rise all night long by bedtime tonight. Many of us in the teens, 20s and 30s and we are going to rise through the overnight period. How about some 40s for tomorrow? But for today, snapshot of your hometown forecast right around three this afternoon, some teens across northwestern Minnesota, upper teens throughout the central Red River Valley, 28 in Jamestown, 21 Valley City and 26 degrees in Oaks. Your hourly planner today here in Fargo sunrise will be at 706 AM and we are starting on the cold side, but sunshine and that breeze switching out of the south is going to do wonders for our temperatures later today with the sunset at 613 PM. The latest from the Climate Prediction Center for the month of March shows well above temp well above average temperatures for much of the country, including in our neck of the woods. We can expect slightly above average temperatures through the month and precipitation trend here in our region. We're looking at near seasonal averages, but much of the country is going to be in dry conditions and spring is here. Well, meteorological spring or climatological spring. It starts today and consists of the months of March, April and May. These seasons are defined by the calendar rather than the sun and the tilt of the earth as in astronomical spring. Why do meteorologists do this? Well, it is more in line with temperature trends and it's easier to compare for those year to year trends as well. The actual first day of spring, the astronomical first day of spring is on March 20th, but with this February sky the other night, it looked like spring with some convective clouds with a rain shower. Thank you so much, Nancy Wilson out of Manville, North Dakota, for taking the time to upload this photo for us. And we have nothing but good news here in this seven day planner warming into the 40s by our Tuesday and we keep the 40s all week long. How about near 50 or even above 50? as we head into next weekend with plenty of sunshine. Not a bad start to spring. It's that kind of forecast where you think, do I have to sweep off my step or can I just kind of <laughs> wait a day and let it melt off? Melt. You know? It'll melt, yeah. Yeah, you just play that little game. All right, Summer, thank you very much.